Hey guys, so I had a lot of feedback on Instagram about people wanting to see how I built that uh, toddler stool. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how I did it. Super cheap, really fast to do. I think it was like $40 of material. After I did my cuts, took me like maybe 20, 25 minutes put together. Um, so Eric and I were debating a long time whether we wanna do it or not. And I was like, well, I only have time to build it. Long story short, looked online, everything's like 100 to $200 for plastic crap. So anyways, we took this route. I had it together already, so I took it apart so I can briefly show you how to do it. So I'll show you the material list, the tools required, and the cut list quickly, and then we'll do a quick video and put it together. Okay, so the first thing I did once I got my material cut, which I used a chop saw. If you don't have it, you can always use a skill saw or honestly the easiest way is if you go to one of the big stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, Rona. If you take the measuring list with you, they'll probably cut them all for you and it makes it super easy. Uh, so first I did the boxes. So this was the first bottom base, which would be your bottom stair as well. So all these are 18 inches long and then the cuts in between are just different. So this box, you have 18 inches this way, and this one is 16 and a half. So you put your 16 and a on the inside, screw your two 18s on the outside, and that makes you a perfect 18 by 18 square. And then these boxes are identical, so it makes it super easy. Same idea, two 18 inch pieces on the outside, and then you have your two 10 and a halfs on the inside, and that makes an 18 by 12. I just used regular wood screws. Um, to make it easier, you can use cabinet screws and it probably wouldn't hurt to pre-drill. Okay, so next up we have our legs that we made, which are your upright pieces on both sides. So there's two per side. So it's super easy. My cabinet height to the bottom of my countertop is 34 and a half inches. So I made it so it'll slide just from the countertop. So literally just cut your four pieces of one by four at 34 and a half inches, what my measurement was. And then for the box, I didn't put the material on here, but for the actual tread, I just found a piece of like, I think it's a piece of countertop, it's pine, it was like 20 bucks. It's 36 by 18 or 20, I believe, but you can literally use whatever you want. Just measure the box out, you can use cedar, one by six, you can do joins in it, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And uh, now we'll show you just a quick video of how I put together. Okay, so first up, after you have all your cuts made and your boxes are assembled, it's pretty simple. I just laid my box on the side so the 18 inches is sitting up, so they're all the same height. Put my big box at the bottom. The next two, either one goes wherever you want to so the same size, but the only thing to keep in mind is the height you put this one at. Um, you can roughly measure your son or daughter where it would come up, usually like around their top or chest area is safest, so they don't, if it's too high, they can fall back. And if it's too low, they can't really reach. So you got to find a comfortable spot for them. You can make it adjustable, but to me, it's a lot more work. And I'm just going to screw it in like this. And when Nixon gets too big for it, I'll just lower it down again. So all you got to do is put your bottom box on. I just started by making sure this bottom corner is perfectly square on the bottom box. Screwed that in. Went to my next box. Marked the top of my box. Made sure everything's lined up there. Same thing at the top, just keep in mind you want to make sure everything is nice and square and level. Okay, so now that we got the other side done, we're gonna flip it over, do this side, same idea, flush on the outside, flush on the outside of these two, take a measurement, slap her in, good to go. Okay, so final step, we decided to move inside because we were getting absolutely torched by mosquitoes and we lost light. So anyways, um, we put our top pieces on now. Like I said, I used a solid piece of pine. Um, don't have it screwed in yet because we're gonna do something else still that I'll explain later. Um, but now you can see what it looks like, finished product, how it lines up with the countertop. Um, so a few things. Number one, the way we're gonna paint it is we're gonna paint all of the upright and outside pieces in white. 
And then on the top pieces, she's gonna take them off and stay in the same color as her hardwood floors. And then a little trick that we learned from doing some rentals at her cottage, if you don't want the knots to be seen and you want it to look a little cleaner, um, you can use this stuff, it's called stain blocker. I'm, like any paint store would probably sell it, even Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, and what it'll do is cover up the knots, because if not, when you paint it, the knots will end up bleeding through and it kind of looks not very nice. So, so I would highly recommend doing something like that if you are going to paint it and not stain it. And um, last thing is I just use regular uh, knotty pine. Uh, it's cheaper, but I just kind of went through and picked out the nicer pieces. But you can use uh, select pine, but it's like double the price. Cedar, there's tons of options, whatever you want to do. I just did this because it was super uh, inexpensive and I just liked the way it looked. So I think that's pretty much everything we need. If you guys have any questions or want me to uh, message you materialists or anything like that, just send me a DM and I can send you over anything you want. Thanks for watching.